Zero XE, and Zero XB. The market of lightweight electric motorcycles is about to get a proper shakeup as America's most advanced bike manufacturer is reportedly expanding into this business. To conquer the budget market segment, Zero Motorcycles plans to bring six new models with sub 10k prices in the upcoming years. At this year's EICMA show floor, the brand has already unveiled two of the six anticipated newcomers, Zero XE and Zero XB trail bikes. Zero XB is the least expensive model, coming at $4,195, so its specifications are quite humble. Built on the brand new model, the XB sports a 7.5 kilowatt motor and a compact removable battery with a 2.4 kilowatt hour capacity. This battery is estimated to have enough juice for 47 miles of riding, while the top speed is capped at the beginner friendly level of 28 miles per hour. The more potent option is the Zero XE, which comes with a $6,495 price tag. To efficiently conquer trails, the bike gets a combination of a 15.5 kilowatt motor and a 4.3 kilowatt hour battery to reach 53 miles per hour speeds and cover up to 65 miles on a charge. Finally, both XE and XB models are to be offered in street legal modifications in Europe, while Americans only get off-road ready ones. Solar Scooters Eclipse 2.0 The 2.0 iteration of the Eclipse dirt bike by the British Solar Scooters Company is here. The newcomer boasts a revised design and improved specifications, but retains a competitive price tag. The two-wheeler comes with all components required to register it for public road use. In the US, riders could be using it under the M1 and M2 licenses, while European and UK riders will operate under the L1E motorcycle licenses. Owing to the use of carbon fiber elements in the frame, the bike weighs only 138 pounds and can sprint from 0 to 30 miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds. Such zippy acceleration comes courtesy of a mid-mounted electric motor with 10 kilowatts of output that's transferred to the rear wheel via a chain drive. Depending on your needs, you may order the bike with either 19-inch enduro or 16-inch supermoto wheels. Moreover, the available full suspension system could be adjusted for either road or off-road use. Finally, the dirt bike is equipped with a 72-volt, 45-amp-hour battery pack, which could provide up to 60 miles of riding and needs 4 hours to completely restore its charge. The speed-craving riders may also want to check out the Solar Eclipse Race Edition. This special offering brings a more capable motor with 15 kilowatts of peak output, a 65-mile-per-hour top speed, and three tire options. 19-inch Enduro, 16-inch Supermoto, and 16-inch Carbon Fiber. E-Tango An established Spanish manufacturer with years of experience in producing street, adventure and off-road motorcycles is entering the dirt bike segment with its first electrified model. To ensure its market success, the company tried to keep the price low while still using quality motorcycling parts. This lightweight two-wheeler is based on a high-strength steel frame offering 340 millimeters of ground clearance, has an upside-down fork with 200 millimeters of travel, rear mono shock with connecting rods, four-piston hydraulic brakes with 210 millimeter rotors, and mismatched tires with 19 and 18 inches in diameter. The mid-mounted e-motor with chain drive is rated for 5 kilowatts and 224 pound-feet of torque. With peak output reaching 10.5 kilowatts, this dirt bike could easily travel at 47 mile per hour speeds in the off-road mode. The 72 volt, 43 amp hour battery pack is fitted with LG cells, offering a range autonomy of 40 miles and a charging time of 4 hours. RAR Manus Manus is a 165-pound electric dirt bike built to provide motocross-like performance with the riding agility of a mountain bike. With a 5-kilowatt electric motor that peaks at 9.5 kilowatts, this two-wheeler can generate 36 pound-feet of motor torque 
and sprint from 0 to 30 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Moreover, this acceleration will only stop once the speed of 54 miles per hour is reached. The 72 volt 30 amp hour battery is swappable for your charging convenience. With this capacity, the motor could last for up to 75 miles in the lowest power setting. The standard setup of the Manus also includes hydraulic disc brakes, an adjustable suspension, a maximum load capacity of 265 pounds, and a charger that could top up the battery in 4 hours. GoWow Ori. This model is characterized by a minimalist design and lightweight construction. The two-wheeler is based on a forged twin-spar composite frame and tips the scales at 160 pounds, including the battery. The bike's 73.8 volt, 38.4 amp hour battery module comprises 21,700 type cells and can provide up to 60 miles of riding range. The battery supports fast charging and needs three and a half hours to restore 100% of its charge from a 220 volt power outlet. The power from the battery is consumed by a 9 kilowatt PMSM motor, letting you travel at speeds up to 60 miles per hour and put to use the immense torque output. The power from the battery is consumed by a 9 kilowatt PMSM motor, letting you travel at speeds up to 60 miles per hour and put to use the immense torque output of 309 pound feet. Considering the off-road nature of this model, the manufacturer equipped the Ori with a 780mm wide handlebar, power brakes with four piston calipers, a four-link rear suspension system, and a mobile app that adjusts motor output according to your riding needs. Kuberg Ranger. The Ranger is a hybrid vehicle that mixes the features of a dirt bike and an electric scooter. It features an innovative lightweight frame with a retractable seat and powertrain components thoughtfully placed to ensure a low center of gravity. The two-wheeler was initially introduced over three years ago. However, a recent upgrade gave it a new motor setup, a more robust new front fork, tweaked software settings, and a more advanced recuperation technology. The e-bike is equipped with a 19-inch front wheel a downsized 14-inch rear wheel, a clutchless one-speed transmission, four-piston brakes, a 200mm suspension fork, and a DNM burner shock while retaining the overall weight of 110 pounds. The buyers can choose between three trim levels of the Ranger, the standard trim with 8 kilowatts and regen braking, the race trim with fenders and 14 kilowatts of output, and the aforementioned reclining seat, and finally, the adventure trim that comes with a cargo trailer. The battery options include 24 or 48 amp hour options that offer either 19 or 38 miles of riding at speeds up to 50 miles per hour. Niu XQ-i3 this light, dual-purpose e-motorcycle is presented in two variations. One is suitable for riding on city streets, while the other is for tackling off-road trails. Just like most city-oriented lightweight e-bikes, the street-legal version of the XQ-i3 will come with side mirrors, turn indicators, a license plate holder, and most importantly, a speed limiter that will cripple your top speed capabilities at 28 miles per hour. It is worth noting that the off-road version will be extracting the full potential from the mid-mounted 6kW electric motor. This motor unit has an ultra-boost feature that pushes out 8kW of peak output and propels you to top speeds of 47 miles per hour. Regardless of the chosen variant, you are getting a 72V 32Ah battery pack with lithium-ion cells. The battery has a quick-swap feature and needs about 5 hours to restore its complete charge. You'll need to look for the charging outlet after every 50 mile trip. To give you a winning edge when riding on a dirt trail, the bike received a lightweight forged aluminum frame, an adjustable KKE suspension, front and rear disc brakes, and a set of 19 inch off-road tires. With this setup, the motorbike's weight does not exceed 168 pounds.
V-Moto on-R and off-R. The new V-Moto bike is offered in two modifications, a trail-only off-R model and a road-legal on-R bike. The trail version weighs 176 pounds with the base 72-volt, 32-amp-hour battery or 187 pounds if the upgraded 72-volt, 48-amp-hour unit is installed. With the base battery, you can travel for up to 42 miles, while the upgraded unit gives you 64 miles of riding. The model features a die-cast aluminum frame and an aluminum swing arm and can boast a set of motocross-derived components, namely a high-travel suspension with a hydraulic dampening system, SSBS brakes, and knobby tires. The seat height is 33 inches, while the ground clearance measures 10.6 inches. The performance comes courtesy of a 4-kilowatt electric motor with 8-kilowatt peak output capabilities. This motor grants 30-degree hill climbing capabilities and a 68-mile-per-hour top speed. Talaria Sting MX-5 this year, to attract even more dirt bike riders to the electrified side, the company announced a new model with significant technical improvements, a 45% power boost and, to our delight, a competitive price tag. The upcoming Sting MX-5 brings a mid-mounted IPM motor with 5.5 kilowatts of nominal, 13.4 kilowatts of peak output and torque rated at 368 pound-feet. There are three power modes available. The humblest of them offers 27 mile per hour speed suitable for city riding, while the most capable hyper mode is reserved for off-roading at speeds up to 50 miles per hour and climbing hills with 45 degree inclines. A fully charged 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery offers up to 62 miles of range with an average speed of 15 miles per hour. Other noteworthy features of the newcomer include four piston hydraulic brakes mismatched off-road tires, a fully adjustable suspension with 220 millimeters of travel in the front and 85 millimeters in the rear, LED lights, a TFT display, and four-level regen braking system. Dirt Goat in recent years, dirt e-bikes have gotten so similar in terms of looks and performance that for many riders, the price becomes the deciding factor. To satisfy the demands of such customers, Goat Power Bikes is offering their model for just $3,999. The bike features a 6061 aluminum alloy frame similar to the earlier Suron models, a mid-drive electric motor with 3 kilowatts of nominal and 6 kilowatts of peak output, 280 pound-feet of torque and 53 mile per hour top speed capabilities. A 72 volt 30 amp hour battery with Samsung cells would let you ride for up to 40 miles with an average speed of 25 miles per hour. With a weight of 147 pounds, the Dirt Goat can carry riders up to 330 pounds. Its standard configuration also gives you a buffeting electrical system four-piston hydraulic disc brakes, a full suspension with dampening adjustments, and a control LCD. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.